Okay, close the door. Hey. Oh, I want coffee. I want coffee. Okay, let's bring it in here. Okay. 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 Are you gonna help Mama open it? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can get it open. There you go. Get out of the way so they can see. Hey, come see. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you got a shirt? Yeah. Wow, look at this one. Oh, yeah. Look at all of my phone. Ooh. What'd you get? Um, come over here. Come over here so you can see. Is this Mama's jacket? No. <gasps> wow. I don't want to like it. Here, let's put it on. I don't want to You don't want to put it on? Okay, Mama's going to put it on. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, they're um, having more back. fun with the we'll rock. We'll rock. <laughs> shipping oh, yeah. stuff than anything else. Oh, pop. This is awesome. Wait, it's not going to pop. There's air. Air? Over here for Look me, please. Look at this. There's, um, this? Look at she's doing. This? Yes, that. and the inside liner is fantastic. So it's my logo. You can see it. I can do that. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to give you a more detailed rundown on the vest, and I wanted the kiddos to be in it. I know they're cute and all, but I couldn't even concentrate saying and sharing what I was wanting to do with the vest. So. I changed up the background, went into my office, they're watching Lion King and whatever else there while I kind of walk through the vest with you. So I have a women's club style vest and it's in distressed brown. And I'm not sure if you guys are familiar at all with the kinds of quality of leather that's available out there. My husband schooled me on this a handful of years ago and unfortunately what you might think of genuine leather being like the highest top end is quite the opposite. Like it is the bottom of the barrel, all the scraps kind of put together, molded to make it look like an actual hide. First Manufacturing uses full grain leather on all of their vests which is like the top quality leather that you can use. It's um, from a full hide. There is no like kind of piecemealed put together quality when it comes to the actual um, leather itself. So I was super excited to hear that. And even when I just pick it up and see and feel the difference from one to the next, it's, it's amazing. And so you know it's going to last many, many lifetimes from now, even with the wear and the tear that I put on this thing for however long I decide to ride. Um, and if it fits me from that end till the end, but I am just like, this is awesome. Throw this on so you can kind of see a little bit more of the actual vest. So, like I said, it's a women's club style. And so it's a little bit more fitted on like just below the hips so it's a little wider which is fantastic cut for me like I wouldn't if I would have went up to this is a size small if I wouldn't would have would have went up to a medium it would have been super baggy I like how fitted it is and it's not too like too big on the back at all because this is just a full blank back style to it but know that if you do snap the bottom of it the zipper actually comes to almost like your belly button which is like it feels weird when you think about it in the beginning but it makes the most sense so when you are riding you're depending on how you are as far as um, position for it most likely you're going to be kind of hunched over and that jacket or not jacket the vest is going to be kind of puckering out if you do have a zipper that goes all the way to the bottom so here you can just unsnap that bottom snap and you have a little bit more like comfortable flexibility when you're actually riding. So I loved that touch to it. And the zipper is, this is freaking heavy duty. It's a, I don't know if you can see, 
a YKK zipper. And this zipper actually has a lifetime warranty on it. So say something happens to it or teeth get smashed, I don't even know what, they will be able to replace that part of it too, which is fantastic. So on the inside, there's this massive um, pocket, like inside pocket. It's actually a concealed carry pocket. So my husband's gonna be very happy that my 1911 I'll be able to fit in here. Fantastic. I should probably go try that out, but I won't I won't do that for the camera here. But I could stock a whole bunch of crap in here. A whole pack of diapers, snacks, and like not even that, the there's another additional pocket on the inside too, which has the insert here for a concealed carry if you want. Which I'm like, dang, that's so cool. So he'll be super excited to know that I can actually carry if I choose to on that side. But knowing that that's an option, it's kind of fun. And then on the inside here, it's more of like a phone pocket. So I'm technically recording with mine, so I can't really try that out, but it's going to fit fantastic. If you do have any of the really large phones, they actually might fit in here too. So, and then it's just got a Velcro shut here so you don't have to fight with a zipper or anything like that so that's easy to stash away if you don't need that and feel like it's not going to go anywhere either so we got the two inside pockets there's the western style um, chest pockets if you want to put anything in those and then i have two slash pockets on the sides you can do um leather on the inside of that if you choose to i kept it just with the fabric to make it feel like it's an inside of the vest. I don't know, but if you really like that feel, you can put them on the inside there. But then just snap closures for the sides. And then all the way up to give it more of like a streamlined look if you want to have that all buttoned up. But I don't know. I did a one inch collar around the top of the vest. And I'm kind of glad I did. If I didn't, they do just like a rolled collar look. I don't know, it doesn't, for me, this feels a little bit more put together in my kind of style, so I love it. And then the back is just a full panel back. No seams, no nothing, so you can put patches or anything you choose to on the back of it. And let me show you a little bit more on the inside, because this is where the customization can truly shine for you guys. So you can do side panels as well. I just went with a back panel, and I went with my logo for my channel so it's got my name on there but it's kind of got like a satin feel to it it's polyester i believe but super super soft and then on the insides of here it's just if you just do the standard um no customization for the side panels it's kind of like a canvas look to it and even the inside slash pockets have the distressed brown too which is super cool i love the black on brown look to it all so i love 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 it the last thing i wanted to share with you guys and so i did um kevlar lining not lining stitching sorry kevlar stitching for the entire vest and so that's an added cost but i really loved that black kevlar option so went with that throughout the entire vest and then for like customizing even more your vest to be unique to you there is this where is it here we go um, I actually unzippered it already to check it out, but there is this zipper on the bottom part of your vest that you can see the actual leather insert, but you can customize like any of the front panels or that back panel without having to manipulate the inside like customization stuff. So you don't have to like it won't be sewn directly into it like some of the other vests that you see like the one that i have too you have to you have no option but to go all the way through the lining and such so here if somebody or yourself if you're a seamstress is able to get into the jacket easily and um sew any patches on without having to ruin that part of it so i have a handful of ones that I just haven't committed to putting on anything and I think I might do for this vest. So like here, I'll share. 
some of the ones that I picked up too. We've got good old Wisconsin. I've got, of course, my Rustic Road patch that I earned. Um, kind of a roaming explorer's one. Found these two at Sturgis this year, along with, oh, did it fall on the ground? Get the point. So um, I have a Sturgis 2020 pin, and then I also have the Cherahala Skyway pin. Oops, it was upside down. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I have these. Of course, if I'm going to go Disney, I'm doing classic Musketeers. I don't know. There's a ton of different stuff I could put on the front part up here. That would be fun. Um, or even on the back if I wanted to start a collection on there or these side panels here. So, But this vest is fantastic. And I want to give it another shout out to First MFG for allowing me to share this customization process and opportunities with you guys. If you are interested in getting your own vest, I wouldn't say exactly like mine because mine is going to be true to me and yours is gonna have a little bit more of a personality for yours. So I have a 25%, oh. And I wear too. She doesn't have a shirt on. <laughs> you have your phone too? Yeah. Nice. But I have um, a percentage off if you guys are interested in purchasing your own vest. It's a 25% off code. I'll link it in the description below. Oh my word, this is true life mom happening at the same time here. But I have that code, I'll put it in the description if you guys are interested in getting your own. That's a fantastic deal and it's deal to do a vest that's gonna be true to you. And this is like, this is me to a T. Fantastic. Any questions, just let me know or let First MFG know. They're fantastic with their customer service. They'll be able to get back to you and help you out if you have any concerns or questions at all. But thanks guys for tuning in today. I'm super excited to share this fantastic quality vest with you. I'm excited to have this as kind of my legacy item to pass down to the kiddos when they get older. It's just one of those things that's really special to me. And even though if they can't technically wear it, they're gonna have a piece of mom and this is this is me to a T um, to have for them. So I love it. Thanks for MFG and we'll see you guys out on the road. Bye.